class so in this lecture we will learn about how to code to test primality of a given natural number okay so how do you do so what are prime numbers first is what are prime numbers just a review so prime numbers are those numbers that are divisible only by themselves and one so numbers like 3 5 7 11 13 17 so these are prime numbers because they are just divisible by themselves and one and we usually don't consider one as a prime number because just for convention because it has only one divisor okay so what happens now is we need to do primality testing so in the most crudest method so what we do in the most crudest method we will say that okay we will run a for loop so for i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 if the number which is let's say i have a number x so modulo i so x modulo i is if it is equal to 0 any time then what we will do so it is divisible so from 2 to n minus 1 if x modulo i is equal to 0 which means it is divisible then i will say return what so i will return minus 1 saying that okay so this is not a prime number so this is the case and otherwise i will return if it is not divisible by any of them i will return 1 that okay it is true so this is the basic and it will take O of n times where n is the number, but is it good? It is for huge numbers because in cryptography or any such scientific cases where we need to find prime numbers, it requires huge numbers. So we cannot use such a big algorithm. So another. version is which will reduce the number of calculation is the mathematical result so there is a mathematical result that says that okay what a number if is prime the prime so what if the numbers from 2 till root n if it is not divisible by any of them then we can say that okay it is prime so how now what will happen so here the code will only change what will happen n minus 1 instead of this what i will do now i will write so i will have something like root n and integer part of it okay so it will be from 2 to root n so now also the order is o of root n but still the question is can you do much better than this that is the question that is always asked in programming interviews and in algorithm itself can we do much better so the answer is yes we can do but if we use randomized algorithm so i will give you one theorem and then you have to tell how you will use randomized algorithm to solve this question so i will give you one theorem which is known as very famous fermat's theorem so this is a very famous theorem known as fermat's theorem and it says if n is prime then what happens if n is prime then a to the power of n minus 1 modulo n is equal to 1 for any a 
any integer basically any integer a less than n so this is a very beautiful thing so you can try this out let's say n is equal to 3 a very small example just to test it and a is equal to 2 so 2 to the power of now 2 if we divide it by percentage 3 so this is 4 percentage 3 and it is equal to 1 let's take a bigger example n is equal to 5 then we can take a is equal to 2 and 3 so 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 which is 2 to the power of 4 so 16 percentage 5 is equal to 1 similarly if I take 3 so 3 to the power of 5 minus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 81 percentage 5 is equal to 1 so we see that this theorem is true and this is Fermat's theorem by great mathematician Fermat so now the thing is question is how will you apply it to primality testing can you think of it take a little while so what we say the answer is yes we can take it for primality testing and how so what we will do is we will so let's say we are given a number prime number n so to test if it is prime what we will take is we will take sufficient number of integers a which is less than n and what we will do now so we will do what in a while loop we will find a to the power of n minus 1 we will divide it with a to the power of n minus 1 modulo n and if it is equal to 1 so if a to the power of n minus 1 modulo n is equal to 1 then we will run a while loop so it will be something like so it will be something like for i is equal to 1 to some large number do and what we will do so we will have some a is equal to random and there will be random numbers which are less than n so we will have random numbers which are less than n and then what we will do so it will give us random numbers between say this random function gives us random numbers from 1 to n minus 1 and then what we will do is we will compute z is equal to a to the power of n minus 1 and now what happens if z percentage n is equal to 1 so if it is not equal to 1 so what we will do so return directly that ok this is not a prime number so return false but if somehow this loop continues for that large number and we are satisfied so we will return true so it means what and the make the larger you make this large it will be more probability you can say that okay this is a prime number and of course the maximum limit of this large is what n minus 1 but if you choose it for sufficiently large number fraction then you are sure that this is a prime number because Fermat's theorem is getting satisfied for so many numbers so it's a prime number so thanks for watching this video and if you like this please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can watch more such programming interview questions